And in the art museum, they have Bamaleke masks and other art. And so I can't tell you the feeling. Oh my God, I may even cry telling you this, but I cannot tell you the feeling of going to the art museum with Chief and, and Boris and Chief being right in between the two of us teaching us about the masks. You know, the three of us are down there like family. He's teaching both of us about, about who we are. You know, one son on the left and one son on the right. And there was no difference, you know, that it took me 400 plus years to meet him. It was as if we were, as if I was born in his compound, you know. And uh, so I'm working on an essay that, that, that sort of captures that moment. And mm -hmm. if I may, I'll end with, with a poem, a companion poem uh, to uh, African that I talked about earlier. This one, of course, is entitled American. My present and past lineage, the mask looking back at me from the mirror. Mm. Okay, so uh, we're gonna wow. move. Oh, Jason, so what are we gonna do uh, before we actually, uh, you know, uh, before I actually let you go? But, so we're gonna ask, I'm brother, gonna ask you if you brother can. Brother Monka. Yeah. Monka, please. Uh, I didn't mean to cut you, but um, let me say something because today I don't have um, I don't have a lot of time. Uh, so for those who don't really know me, I'm your brother Monte Chakunte, um, and I would like to start by saying something in our native tongue um, because mm -hmm. I think some of the word that we say in our native tongue, you know, what we speak is frequency. And sometimes we need to generate this frequency to connect straight to our ancestors. So it says, God chasiye pe puma. It means that I'm, I'm, I'm saluting you. So I'm sending you great uh, greetings, my brothers and sisters. So, but when I say pe puma, it really means that, you know, in our language, there is no there is no such thing as brother, but Puma, mm -hmm. it, it, it means you are the you are the other child of my mother. So that's what we say in our native tongue. So we don't have a word for for brothers or sister. So we say Puma, meaning if you know I'm calling you the the child of the other child of my mother. That's how we say. So I need to say 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 it first, and. Um, so now I, I heard so many great things our brother was saying, uh, Chase and Barca alone. Listen, man, uh, look, when you, when, you, when you say that people were picking at your height, they just a bunch of ignorant because I'm listening to somebody who has a huge, huge spirit. I mean, it, it's, just, it's just abundant from who you are as a person and what you're able to accomplish until now. So yes, you go, you're always gonna have a bunch of ignorance around you anyway. But I applaud you mm. for not letting that bring you down because some people are very affected by, you know, this label because of the, of the physical, uh, I would say, appearance, right? People who have other physical appearance that don't look like the, like the regular, like, like everybody else. You know whether they're short or too tall or whatever. You know, even for women who don't have this, who don't have that, some people really suffer from it, and it affects them in their life. So I, I applaud you for not letting that, you know, stopping you from doing anything. Because man, listen, you got big fire. You are men of a lot of talent, and uh, yes, I'm personally gonna make sure I check your book and check more what you do on your website. You're really that Bobby K person because. See, this tribe only makes very, very intelligent people. Um, yes, yes. And I'm not saying this to brag. The French people themselves said it when General de Gaulle in 1955 were exterminating people in Cameroon. Himself, he said, the first people to exterminate in Cameroon are the Bamilike because of their they, 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 they drive for, to for do for self because they're too intelligent, because mm. they're people who can figure out about themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so you definitely have that. I now, thank you for that, brother. I thank you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, now, 
So our brother Monkam says something about a friend who told him that he found out his roots and the people from there didn't really welcome him. Uh, that's a true story. I've heard things like that. Um, I've also heard those from here, brothers and sisters from here who were trying to hang out with those who were born on the continent, but they were never welcome. I just want to say that uh, let's not be, be discouraged, right? Because again, as, as, as we went to the whole miseducation here, Mm. In in our continent as well, since we were we were colonized, it's the same miseducation going on into today. Okay, so we don't know both words. Like me being born there, raised there, whatever. I don't know about what you're going through here. I'm not being taught that, right? I'm being taught about the French Revolution. I'm being taught about Charlemagne, who created school, so to speak. You know, so meaning that. It's, it's really ignorance. It's not that those people really out of, um, you know, knowledge are doing that. It's just pure ignorance. Myself too, I got rejected by some people here, you know, my brothers and sisters from here, knowing that maybe I might have an African accent that comes out, they push me. But, you know, I understand why they're doing it, you see? So I think at some time we got to also, as our brother Gary say, don't let one story, you know, push you away and just keep going because you're gonna find people like us who are actually there to help you reconnect again, right? So, and we are a lot out there. We are, we are out there looking for that and because we understand that that connection is a must, right? I always tell my people, whether it's in Cameroon or all over Africa, that Africa will never rise up again if it's if it doesn't reconnect with his lost brothers and sisters abroad, meaning in the US, Caribbean, Jamaica, whatever you want to say, it is a must that reconnection, you know. So um listen, I I, I won't hold it too much. I just wanted to comment on that because um, you know, uh, before I I you know maybe because I'll be going in and out, I won't be able to be here like uh, for long. So I just wanted to put it out there. And um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your word, brother. That's a, that's a really, really sweet word. You know, it's lovely. So, uh, brother Elon, so what we're going to do, if you can show us the book again, so we can actually have a look at it properly and you can tell us exactly where to get the book. I know that I've got mine, but I prefer you to actually explain, tell anyone how to get a book. So. So you can purchase shrimp from my website, actually, or um, you can. It's available at Amazon if you if you use Amazon. Um, but I would prefer that you go to either my website or to the University of Chicago Press because um, there you can you can buy the book in either an ebook form for six ninety nine or you can buy it in paperback for sixteen ninety nine. Um, if you buy it, if you want, if you want to buy one from me, then we, we can connect and I can sign a copy for you and mail you a copy. Um, so that's also an option. Um, so uh, go to my website, which is jvasserelong.com. Um, my last name again is spelled V as in Victor, A-S-S-E-R-E-L-O-N-G.com. And there you see on my about page where you can buy shrimp. And, um, but if you, if you don't want to go to the website, you can also find it at the University of Chicago Press or on Amazon's website. So on your website, do I there have your email address if I want to have a signed copy from you? Yes, sir. There's contact information in there for me. Um, okay. Yeah, definitely. And if you want, you can, um, I have a, like a subscription where you can subscribe to my website if you like. Um, I actually just got a deal with the African Coffee Club. And so subscribers, and it's free to subscribe, but subscribers get like a 10% discount at the African Coffee Club who actually has Bamaleke Ka 